I'm Everett, and this is Pyro System 2.2, and here's how it works. It uses the same butane canisters as the previous two versions right here, and it uses this jet lighter for ignition. Uh, what I've done is taken the wires from the piece of sparker and the tube for the butane and run them through here out to the burner right there. So all I've done is extend it from here to here and that is triggered by this thumb loop which pulls on this uh, piece of spring steel and depresses the button to ignite that and that's just angled in to sit right next to the nozzle here which the main fuel comes out of that is just a brass nozzle from a barbecue lighter press fitted into this aluminum block which heat sinks it so that it can't heat up uh, too much and then that's insulated from this plastic plate by a piece of uh, circuit board which can handle high temperatures and then this plastic plate is just to mount everything on and to make it sit flat on my palm uh, that has a loop for the middle finger and then this other control line comes down and pulls on this lever which releases fuel from the main can and that just runs through this tube through the plastic plate and out this nozzle so to use it Pull on the thumb loop first to ignite the torch and then I bring my hand back start releasing butane. Once that's coming out I can let go of the igniter and this will just keep burning. If I give it too much fuel though it'll put itself out. Sometimes. Sometimes it'll just keep going. And as you can see, it can go pretty big. Um, when there isn't a lot of wind, it'll put itself out like that. So you can keep the, t the jet torch ignited. Not very impressive right now because this tank is almost empty. I'm going to put in a new one. Alright, uh, this is how a, a new tank goes in. This is just a plastic holder made of uh, polystyrene that I heat formed. And uh, these butane refills put on this thrust washer that um, sits on a, a step in that valve stem. So you can push down on it. Slides into here. And then the two arms of this lever go around the nozzle and they press down on the washer and then the tube just fits right over that and that's it tanks changed and here's what it looks like if I open it all the way up not working too well right now because it's meant to have a sleeve under it so it ends up moving around on my wrist a bit too much.